Hello guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I want to talk you about Photoshop Eyedropper tool. So whether you are editing photos, creating a graphic or working on a mock-up for a new website design, getting the exact color you want is important. Photoshop makes this easy with the Eyedropper tool. When you want to match a color that is already present in your file, you can use the Eyedropper tool to add that exact shade to the color palette. This lets you use it elsewhere in your image. The Eyedropper looks not surprisingly like a small eyedropper you will know the exact rgb or cmyk values for every color you want to use in this case the eyedropper isn't necessary but when you don't know the exact values for a color the eyedropper will instantly find those values for you the tool can be used to determine the exact shade you want this allows you to match colors from an existing image you can then add text or graphics in a matching shade Sometimes the uh, eyedropper comes in handy even when many graphics designers I see tend to collect uh, favorite colors for future use. When you see a color you want to remember in a picture, you can just open the image in Photoshop and use the tool. You can uh, then write down that your favorite shape. When you need to be extra precise, you can press the caps lock key. This will turn the eyedropper into a target and it will let you sample a color at pixel level. What if you are browsing the web and see a color you want to use, you could always screenshot the image and then open that in Photoshop. However, it's actually possible to sample colors from other applications outside of Photoshop. You just have to start using the tool within Photoshop and then drag the cursor to the other application to grab your color. Photoshop has uh, tons of useful tools, but for some users, the eyedropper will be the number one most useful tool. Anyways, now I want to show you how it actually works. Suppose in this image, I need this blue color, blue color. You see a circle. If I uh, don't see this circle, then show sampling ring. Then now the circle gone. If I take this show sample ring, then see this circle. The advantage is this, uh, you can measure which color you want which color you need actually suppose i need this blue color right then press this now i want to open a new page get a rectangle you see this is the same color the eyedropper tool detects this is the same color now i want this window color i want this window color then select press alter backspace now see i got the exact this window color Another thing is point sample. Point sample, if I I can choose a 3 by 3 average, 5 by 5 average, or 101 by 101 average. It means it can grab grab 101 pixels around you click. 101 pixels around you click. I can choose uh, copy, I can copy color as HTML. Suppose I uh, I, uh, I need this color. I need this color, I can copy, copy color as HTML or copy colors as hex codes. Right? Copy this color and paste it. I need also this color, copy this color, paste it. So in future you can use this color. Uh, so that's it guys, uh, I hope you understand and uh, it helps uh, actually how eyedropper tools actually works. 